nest is my favorite because it's the prettiest and in honor of spring today uh, I call this the earth test because what color does the earth look from space? Green and blue. blue. Okay so yes we are looking today at green and blue and they're so pretty I love these two. Uh, so this is the citrate test. This guy is unique in this test we use that citrate slant media but in that media we both we have both a reagent and a pH indicator. Our reagent in this case are ammonium salts, ammonium NH4, not ammonia. And then our pH indicator in this guy is, and you guys are going to say this, bromothymol blue. Bromothymol blue. Yes. There are many students who come back there with me that are like, blue. B word blue. I know it's the B word. I can't say it. All right, it's bromothymol blue. Okay. Good. That's the pH indicator. And what the citrate test is doing, it's testing to see if bacteria can use citrate instead of glucose as a source of carbon. So it's trying to see, can we break down the citrate in here and use it as a carbon source if, if there's no glucose present? When a bacteria is able to do that, It'll break down that citrate and it's going to convert, when it does that, the ammonium salts in here into ammonia. And what does ammonia do to pH? It raises it, makes it more alkaline. Bromothymol blue at a neutral pH is this green color. But at a basic pH, a higher pH, it turns into Caribbean blue. So a positive citrate test, meaning that organism can use citrate as a source of carbon, will be a pretty Caribbean blue, and a negative will remain green. This one, everything's in the media, you just look at the two. Any questions for me on that one? Today, what you're gonna do is, I recommend going ahead and getting started on your VP test, get started on your inoculation. I'm gonna give you a few minutes to do that, and then I'm going to start coming around and asking you the questions. So go ahead and have